Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. Just running around the farm, just checking some things out for our head out today for a short day of work. Green apples, scarecrow, beehives, Rex, James, wife, kid, tractor. Greenhouse is doing good. Uh, so everything, everything's in check. Uh, I did notice when I was over here, for some reason I was hitting the engineering button. I was like, uh, I can put beehives over here. Uh, so we will. Uh, uh, and there, and, and there. Um, I don't, I forget what that really does, but, uh, we got beehives now. For your, our near, nearby garden. I don't have a garden really nearby here. Uh, does the greenhouse count? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> but it's there. They're beehives. Uh, I'll walk around. Is there any, I mean, is there any place you guys going to come out and play? Yeah, we don't care about your eggs because they'll just disappear. I think the wife is uh, collecting them, selling them, and putting them in her own savings account or something like that. Um, yeah, and Ronnie the Rooster doesn't come out and play anymore. Occasionally he does, but uh, very rarely in this farm. I, th I think he, I think he's afraid of the sun. Uh, so what I need to do today is we have a field that needs to be cultivated. Uh, that three and a half hectare size field. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going around here checking our equipment. I don't know what's going on with our trailers because I sure as heck didn't park them like this. So just ignore that. I think that is attached. It should be attached. Those don't look attached. Uh, all this stuff should be still attached. Uh, yeah, well, anyways, uh, it is what it is. So, uh, the other thing I probably should check is what do we have for jobs? Transport job? Nah. Plow a field, nah. Deliver spicy pumpkin soup, something we could do. Plow a field. Um, yeah, I don't feel like plowing your fields because uh, I don't feel like plowing my own. Uh, how we doing down here? So, I got fields down here that I thought that I took care of. And apparently I did not for some unknown reason. Uh, we'll leave them there because I may plow those later on myself. Uh, not today. Uh, let's see, that's not going to be attached because for some reason in Farmer's Dynasty, uh, your equipment detaches when exiting the game for some unknown reason. Uh, one, two, three, that's the, that's the spot. Uh, let's lower that down and get started on this pretty decent sized field. 41% on the fuel. Uh, yeah, so 3.15 hectares that we need to cultivate. And I did not check my hunger uh, obviously sleep. Uh, we just woke up so we sh should be good there. So I'll just keep working unless it says, you know, that tree bark looks good or the inside of my stomach feels like a old volleyball or whatever heck it says. <laughs> so let's wait until that happens. Uh, but yeah, this should take almost the entire morning to go ahead and cultivate this. And uh, that's all I kind of really feel like doing today. I may go deliver some spicy pumpkin soup. I may go way down there and do that. But overall, um, the farm's doing decent. It's the 29th of April, so we're slowly getting to May. At, at some point, I like, you know, the apples. Uh, yeah, I know. It's taking forever for us to get to the apples, but we'll get there at some point. And once we get the apples, then apparently my wife, maybe, will make me some melon pie. Uh, so I guess from what I heard, the melon pie, the ingredients are melons and apples. Uh, I thought the melon pie and apple pie would be separate, but that's just me. That is just me. Um, yeah, nothing Nothing says uh, American like uh, apple pie and some cinnamon and and some good stuff. Uh, I can almost smell it, but uh, I got a few more months before that actually happens in real life. Uh, when fall comes around the corner. So I'm not going to hire any more workers, I don't think. Because like I said, uh, I, I really don't know how the season's going to go. Um, I think really what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for the next update to see what the next update brings us. And then they'll tell me if I want to seed some more fields or what. I don't know. We do have fields that have seed in them and are growing, I would assume. 
all the fields on the east side have crops in them and the big 7.55 hectare size field has uh, barley in it which we will be doing you know last time I did barley or wheat in that field I had to pick up the straw bales by hand but now that we got the auto loading system that's gonna make it a little bit easier but also back when I did it the bales were worth I think three hundred dollars a piece and now excuse me uh, with a fluctuating market um, yeah I don't know why like was it like twenty dollars per bale maybe if we're lucky so and probably if I deliver too many bales it's gonna be worth crap but anyways as for today like I said uh, we're just gonna cultivate this field here get it all set and uh, then it's pretty much going getting down to spraying some more manure on some fields that we can and or also I need to grab the artificial fertilizer spreader and get to the fields that we've already put manure on and get those fields 100% or excuse me 200% fertilized so they'll be good to go for when we do seed them then we don't we just geez I almost said uh, uh, then we'll just take care of the weeds but uh, that's a different game uh, <laughs> Yeah, so once we get uh, the double stage of fertilization down, we just got to seed it and then uh, wait for them to turn to harvest. But this year, we're kind of taking easy on the farm. Uh, the first four or five years, I forgot what year I'm in, uh, we went pretty hard on the farm. So this year, kind of giving the field a chance to uh, be a little bit, uh, I, the term is fallow. So they can uh, regenerate some nutrition into the ground. At least that's kind of what we're trying to plan on doing. Does it really need to be done? Not really, because it's not integrated into the game. But we're doing it anyways. But the one thing for sure, when September comes, it's canola everywhere. Canola, canola, canola. I can tell the noon hour must be approaching because I'm getting hungry <laughs> and uh, yeah plus we're almost done with the field so like I said it's probably gonna take us all morning to do this field so we'll see what time it is plus I have my fingers crossed at this point um, because I've yet to save the game getting this far but I don't have no workers going so I'm gonna assume everything's gonna be okay 
Uh, but as soon as I get done with this field, and the other thing I noticed I need to do this field, there's no scarecrow. Um, yeah, I can't remember if I had a scarecrow in this field before or not. But a scarecrow will be going back into the field once I get done. Uh, where does it go? Bueller? Bueller? Uh, over there. I see it now. He goes over there. Now, I wonder if there's... I mean, do the beehives... I know it says it affects your garden, but I don't assume the beehives are going to affect the crops in the field. I mean, some crops and fields do need to be pollinated, I think. But that's something you kind of got to do in Farmer's Dynasty. You got to, like, run around and hit the engineering button once in a while just to see if you can build anything. Like, I did not know about the beehives right next to the greenhouse, but I don't have... This one thing that's not clear, it says it helps out your garden, but it doesn't say how close the garden has to be to the beehives for it to take effect. It's kind of like the scarecrow in the in your apple orchard. It doesn't say how what's the radius that, uh, well, the, I think the terminology I'm looking for is AOE, area, area of effect. It doesn't really say. But I guess it doesn't matter. It is what it is. And you can't build more. Yet, anyways. So. And where's that scarecrow go? Okay, so kind of like right next to that different colored patch area. Uh, meanwhile, down to 28% fuel, 97% cultivated. And apparently there's still a little bit of the old harvest sitting around. Because harvested at 0.00%. Oh, looks like it's right in front of us. couple pieces here and there and like I said the first thing we're going to do is once this field is done and I get out of the tractor is save the game auto save auto save uh, <laughs> I'm going to treat it like Beetlejuice you know say it three times and it'll, it'll just appear auto save Auto save, auto save. Some of you out there are probably saying Beetlejuice. What the heck's Beetlejuice? Uh, anywho. Looks like a piece of pie. Piece of pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Getting hungry in the game and getting hungry in the real life. And I learned uh, when I talked to my wife. If I'm hungry, don't ask for her to give me some food because she charges me social points for food. She's my wife. And she charged me once for food. What kind of a marriage is this? She charges me for food. I supply a house, the income. I know, I know. She's a housewife. She takes care of the, the house. Well, we can laugh at that. And takes care of the kid who doesn't get out of the out the crib so you know we can argue this back and forth all day long uh right here bam scarecrow protects your crops and fruits nearby social benefits uh yeah but in the meantime i want to save this game please we don't want it crashing but now we can take this tractor back to the farm uh it needs a good wash job for one two I think a different paint color is in, in uh, store for this guy. I forget. Is this the... Is this the Fent? Yeah, this is the Fent. Well, Fent usually is green anyways, but we'll swap it up. Change colors to whatever the sliding scale goes to. If I can get across this bridge without the cultivator getting stuck. So now we feel better that the game is saved. Uh, we are good to go on that front. Uh, I just want to sneak in through here. Let's not run over the dog. Alright. Uh, tank capacity fill. Wait, what? Oh, I was right. Okay. I was like, what do you mean? I only got... Uh, Alright, yeah. Uh, refuel, please. 
Um, wait, refuel? What? Did it refuel? Okay, it did. I was like, why is it giving me the option again? Uh, we'll wash the vehicle. And I have no idea. Sure, why not? You know what? No, no, no. Because it, oddly enough, it ma almost matches our barn here. Um, almost, what's, is that too much blue? It is, but we're going to go with it. Oh, it kind of matches our harvester. You know what? The heck with it. I did two paint jobs on it. It's good enough. Uh, now we'll back up and I will wash this guy. There we go. Let's go park him up. Because the fields that we're going to do next are over yonder the hill. I got two fields to do there. We can probably knock them out. Uh, do both fields at the same time so like when I plow it I'll do them both at the same time and then when we cultivate it we'll do both at the same time I don't know how I overlooked these two fields now the only thing I can think of is I tried to hire a worker for these two fields and the game kept crashing so maybe in my mind I thought I hired a worker for those two fields but yeah they look messy uh, can you like park the tractor somewhere dude Fancy tires. Uh, I don't know. Blue looks doesn't look too bad on it. Anywho. I think what we're going to do now. I just want to go back and check on the garden itself. Uh, why I'm running around. Any more beehives I can build? I don't know why I would build a garden out here. I mean, I suppose I can build a garden around the greenhouse. Yeah, we could do that. Like, put flowers around the greenhouse. Huh. <gasps> no, nope. for me, I thought one of the... I thought I, thought I saw I saw a white bird for at first. I thought one of the, the ducks were out. And I'm like, no, that's just a stork. It's just a stork. Oh, I can beehives here. All right. Oh, I just built two at once. Ha, 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 ha. I'm getting talented. All right, so you can put beehives there. kind of weird where you can put beehives you know it's just it's just like random places it seems like I don't think I'll be able to put any around here because we got beehives just on the other side of this fence uh right there oh, wait only two uh, well apparently I can only put two here because nothing else is showing up interesting uh let's see how these flowers are doing um but nope wrong corner around the fence here oh they're still just wet they're not very wet so the wife hasn't watered them yet but then again since they're wet i would assume that she doesn't need to hey james what's up i don't remember seeing the message say that uh, we have mice in the pantry so maybe he did his job today i doubt it but uh you know i can't i'm not gonna blame james too much oh we still got eggs in here what time is it one o'clock in the afternoon. Was I not far enough away from the farm today for the wife to collect things? Apparently not, because all the eggs are still in here. We'll leave them in here. Maybe uh, Ronnie the rooster will do some fertilization of some eggs and we'll earn like $80 or something like that overnight. Yeah, so being across the road is not far enough away from the farm for the wife to do some collecting. Uh, just for some fun... We're just going to go way down here. We'll get away from the farm for just a second or two. We'll come down here and check on our other crops. Now, we don't have to worry about the water in these greenhouses because it's automated for some unknown reason. Um, I think these greenhouses that we're at, um, there is no computer board on the wall anywhere. Because, see, I can't enter the seed... Uh, the storage for the seed and of course we had to repair these greenhouses and yeah, there's no water meter anywhere in here whatsoever but they all look good obviously I mean what else could it be, do be done with them all right let's uh well we're in the harvester jump out ladies uh all the eggs are still here so my, apparently my wife does not want to collect stuff today I probably wasn't gone long enough and that's what she's probably saying. You weren't gone long enough. Don't you have things to do? No, not really. 
not, not the rest of the day. Um, yeah, I should be eating something, so we'll do that. You know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Over eight by a lot. Uh, so I'm going to be feeling fat for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, so fat, that means I'm not going to want to do anything except slide down the slide. Can I slide down the slide? Um, we Okay, not really, but... <laughs> And then maybe someday me and Timmy will get on the teeter-totter until, um, you know, the wife gets pregnant again. Maybe. I don't know. Having one child is so much work nowadays. I mean, he's been in there for 13 months now. Doing nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. And speaking of doing nothing, I'm not going to do anything the rest of the afternoon. Absolutely nothing. I mean, I called the debate field today. What more do you want from me? It's all that Italian tomato soup I just had. You know, I had one and a half cans too many. I mean, there's a good chunk of meat right there. Just saying. Are you going to go that way too? Yeah, you might want to follow him. Uh, We'll sit over here today, maybe. Like we always do. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on the day on the farm. But until then, have a good one.